What should we call it? Gross hypocrisy? A straightforward contradiction? Which which graphic expression sums it up? Um, Jake Tapper and the likes at the Conservative News Network, you don't need me to tell you, have been going over the top recently, non-stop analysing every single thing President Biden does, literally how he moves, any reaction with anybody who may be in the party with him, as in the Democratic Party, anybody around, uh, they repeat anything any commentators have had to say, anything anybody who with a blue tick on Twitter has had to say, CNN non-stop have been obsessed. I suppose it gets them clicks. And the question that has to be asked, though, is why is there one rule for President Biden and a totally, wow, where do you want to start? Where do you want to finish? It's like a stack. In fact, a library full of different rules for Trump, because it's, uh, well, with Biden, they've got to do this. With Trump, oh, it's just Trump, we don't need to. The best example I can give you is uh, Dr. Jill Biden, the first lady. All right? Everything she does is scrutinized, particularly, I was going to say specifically and particularly at the same time, uh, by CNN. And you can say, well, you're just a Brit from the outside looking in. That's how we do it with our first ladies. OK, uh, Melania Trump is a former first lady. I've not seen one comment on CNN or anybody that works with CNN, anybody who's a contributor with CNN, anyone that's a talking head with CNN. Where's Van Jones now? Melania Trump appeared at the RNC uh, festival. Is it a festival? Get together, whatever it is, uh, on Thursday evening. And the body language, we can put randomly 10 body languages uh, together. All right? And the most the one that would stand out is the body language between Trump and Melania. There was nothing. Bring in the experts. They'll tell you the same. It's not just me here. There was nothing. He leans in to kiss her. She's having nothing. Not interested at all. Definitely not on the lips. Or well, somebody said that will cost extra. Can't say that. Get in trouble. But you get what I mean. CNN, nothing. Like, oh, well, well, we don't want to say too much. It's almost like that Jake Tapper is addicted, obsessed, $21,000-plus a day, all right? That's how much Jake Tapper is being paid currently by CNN to rock and muck all types of garbage and throw it and smear it at the Bidens. Yet here we have just... This is a really obvious one. It's what you call a home run. You could hit it. That's the worst baseball strike ever. But you get my drift. You can hit it straight out the park. It's an obvious one. They've not done anything. Because they cannot have a situation, as far as they see it, where they've created all of this turmoil, all of this, oh, Biden's got to go. Uh, another spokesperson, another insider, another person uh, who very related to uh, the Biden says, all of this garbage. I mean, President Biden has been quitting nearly every single hour, every single minute, every single day uh, for the last week or so. And they'll start it again. Uh, at the moment, the president isn't too well. And for Jake Tapper, that's not good enough. Oh, sign this in president is past it. They do not report on the fact that uh, just today the Hispanic caucus came out in support of President Biden. 
two days ago, James Clyburn, who has a really large input and say in the Democratic Party, or the Black Caucus, caucus rather, they came out in support of uh, President Biden. I've had so many messages from people saying they're supporting President Biden, but it's ignored. Please, I could ask you to subscribe. I could ask you to press the thanks button and buy our team a coffee. $4.99. Sound like I'm uh, grifting. But instead, the most important thing, please, please, leave a comment in the comment section about what you think about the hypocrisy. It is, excuse me, it is blatant hypocrisy going on here. And it's crazy. All right. Why? Why, why, why? Just taking this millennia Trump scenario and situation. Why is Trump given a, what's the word? A free pass. Melania Trump, the former first lady, on stage with him. Oh, and there she is. And an embrace, the patch on his ear. The two back together again in the public eye. This is an image we have not seen on the campaign trail so far. A big night for the former first lady, too, deciding this would be the night that she would come forward in supporting her husband as he tries to return to the White House. There was a lot going into this speech, as you know. In the national polls, this has been a tight race, a relatively tight race within the margin of error. The big question would be, would Donald Trump reach out to the swing voters, the independents? Oh. 